Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your P3DB5 look amazing in 2022. I already did this kind of a video back in 2021 in summer and you guys uh, enjoyed it a lot. It seems like you followed my steps very closely and um, yeah, you were basically happy of the result. So that's mainly why I decided to make, uh, let's say, part two of that video. But uh, today I have something a little bit different for you here. Here are some screenshots of the sim, how it will look after we apply all these shaders, all these presets and basically stuff I have prepared for you today. And um, it's good to mention that everything in this video is free of charge, so you can make your sim look great free as well. Uh, the last time we used Envtex, which is a payware application, today it is completely free. So stay with me and your sim will look great. This video will be divided into three parts, and in the first part, we are going to install an HDR fix provided by Chewy94, so shout out Chewy. And um, all you need to do is to go to Chewy's website, which is chewy94.ca.uk. You don't have to worry, all the links will be in the description down below, so you can just check that and click the link and it will be right here with me. And um, what you need to do on Chewy's website is to go to P3DV5, or sorry, P3DV4 and V5, and click on V5 settings. That's what we want. And um, you can also check Chewy's uh, settings here. I have it uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit different. So I will show you the settings uh, at the very end, so you don't have to worry. Or you can just use Chewy's if you're uh, happy with uh, with uh, his settings. And um, you just need to click uh, this uh, little text here to download the HDR fix for Enhanced Atmospherics. That is uh, very uh, important because in today's video we are using Enhanced Atmospherics with the Volumetric Clouds as well. So if you're not using Enhanced Atmospherics, then you don't need to download this HDR fix. But I highly recommend to use the Enhanced Atmospherics, especially in the P3DV uh, 5.3. I think it looks amazing. So let's go for that. And it will redirect you to a Google Drive um, folder. And uh, you just need to click this uh, little download button will redirect you once again to the download link and as you can see it is uh, already downloaded it's a small file so after we successfully downloaded the HDR fix from Chewy's website we can uh, go ahead and open that and um, as you can see here is uh, only one file we'll, we are uh, interested in uh, obviously you have uh, readme here so you can open it and uh, go through the steps your own but that's why I'm creating this video today so um, Let's just uh, minimize this for a second because we need to do uh, two things before we can apply the HDR fix. So first thing is first, you need to go into your app data local Lockheed Martin P3DV5. So what you need to do in this folder is to basically delete this whole file of shaders. As you can see, here are many, many shaders, but uh, we need to delete them to make the uh, HDR fix work. So just uh, Select shaders and then delete. There we are. And then you need to go into your P3DV5 root directory. Um, for me, it is uh, C program files, Lockheed Martin P3DV5. And uh, once you're here, you need to go into shaders HLSL and then post process. In post process, you will find a file hdr.hlsl. Um, you need to back up this file, so let's copy this file and uh, place it onto our desktop, for example, so we have it here. So once we have the hdr.hlsl file backed up here on our desktop, we can go once again into the hdrfix.zip, which uh, we downloaded, and uh, you're just gonna copy the hdr.hlsl and paste it here and uh, overwrite this file. I'm not gonna do that because I have uh, the file already there, but that's basically what you need to do and it's done. Be careful with the backup because uh, there is a P3DV5 version where the HDR fix doesn't work. 
if that is your case, because I'm not quite sure which version that was, so I can't really tell you. If that is your case and the HDR fix doesn't work for you, that's why we backed up this file and you can go back to uh, where we left off, basically. Um, all you need to do is to uh, delete the shaders file once again and then replace the hdr.hlsl with your original file. After you replace the file, you can close everything and start P3D. Alright, so here we are in P3DV5 with the HDR fix applied. Um, as you can see, uh, there is a noticeable difference already to be seen on the screen. Um, I think it brings a fresh new life to the simulator, actually. Um, but uh, what the HDR fix also does, it uh, makes the cockpit a lot brighter. We have this issue with P3D V5 with the very dark cockpits. That's no longer an issue with this fix because, as you can see, our cockpit is nice and bright and that's what we want. If you are happy how your sim looks with the HDR fix, you can keep this and fly uh, basically without uh, the next step. I used to fly with the R uh, with the HDR fix only as well. I think it looks good, but let's make it even better. So that's the first part of this video done, and let's move on to the second part. In the second part, we are going to install Reshade and set it up correctly. So all you need to do is to go to reshade.me, uh, once again all the links are in the description down below, so you can just click the link and you're good to go. What you need to do on Reshade's website, basically just click this uh, purple download button and um, it will scroll down to this button, you just need to click it and um, download it wherever you want. So after we successfully downloaded Reshade, we click this Reshade setup.exe uh, and uh, what we need to do is to select our p3dv5.exe or p3d.exe, I'm sorry. Um, so we just click this button and now you need to browse for your p3d.exe, here it is. So let's click it and click open. Now this question pops up, uh, which rendering API does p3d.exe use? We are going to click on direct3d 10 slash 11 slash 12. As you can see, I already have Reshade installed, but um, it will redirect you basically to uh, the page you will see in just a moment. I will click update. This is the, uh, this is the window you should see right now. In this window you select which effects you want to install or shaders you want to install into your application with Reshade. Um, Reshade works with presets and uh, I highly recommend to uh, uncheck all and then check all once again so you have all the shaders in uh, P3D available. Because, for example, my Reshade presets works with uh, multiple of these shaders. Um, because Reshade works with presets, I will show you where to download them and I will also uh, give you a link in the description for my Reshade preset. And uh, my Reshade preset works with multiple of these shaders and uh, many other uh, Reshade presets do as well. So I highly recommend selecting all of these, just make sure you uncheck all and then check all and click OK. And as you can see, it started downloading all uh, the effects, all the shaders for us. It will take a moment, so yeah, basically wait for it once it's done. And as you can see, it is already uh, finished for me because um, I uh, had it already installed, so that's maybe why um, it was so quick. Once the installation finishes, you can go ahead and close Reshade and um, what uh, we need to do now is to download a preset for Reshade. So you will have my Reshade presets, which is this one, uh, on uh, Google Drive in the description down below. I will leave a link so you can download my preset. But from other presets, the one I recommend the most is uh, Lucas Cavatoni's preset uh, from uh, RD Presets. So what you need to do is to go to rdpresets.com and um, then reshade basically and here is Lucas Cavatoni's reshade preset you just need to download this 
if you want to use his preset, if you want to use my preset or any other preset, you can uh, download uh, others as well. The link will be in the description down below once again. So if you want to use this particular one, you can use this one. So just download it. In uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how it works with my preset. So once you've downloaded my reshade preset, you need to copy it. So let's um, copy this. And now what you need to do is to go into your root B3DV5 folder and you need to copy this file into your root directory. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do that, but that's how you would do it. And once we are done with this, we can start P3D again. Okay, so here we are in P3DV5 with Reshade installed and um, as you can see, now we have uh, no Reshade presets active yet. We have still only the HDR fix in the sim, but that's completely uh, fine. We're going to change that now. So the default key to um, show the Reshade overlay is home. So let's press home. And you will probably have a tutorial here. If you want to go step by step with the tutorial, you can go. Otherwise, you can just click the skip tutorial button and you will have uh, these um, basically options right here. And what you need to do is to click on this box right here and select the preset you want to use. Um, I am describing uh, it on my preset, so we're just going to select it. Uh, and then uh, hit select once again and uh, it should say the name of the preset right here if it's selected correctly and uh, now what you need to do is to go to settings and um, what uh, I highly recommend is to um, bind uh, this effect toggle key I'm just gonna change the overlay key as well um, because uh, then you can see uh, the difference with the effect toggle key. I will show you that in just a moment. So um, this is a useful, useful, useful tool. And one more important thing. If you want to take screenshots and have reshade visible in the screenshot, uh, you need to uh, take screenshots via reshade. If you take screenshots with Reshade active via P3D, it will not show Reshade in it. So you need to set up a path to your screenshots. Uh, in my case, it is the same as uh, the P3D's default path. And I have uh, the screenshot key set to uh, V. You can uh, do uh, whatever you want here basically, but just to remind you, if you want to take screenshots with Reshade Active, you need to set up this. If you use the default P3D uh, screenshot system, it won't show Reshade in the final screenshots. So once you've done this uh, and you applied the Reshade uh, preset, you can close the overlay by clicking Home by default. I have it changed to Shift F, uh, Shift F2, so let's close this. And now if I press the Effect Toggle key, which is F, uh, Shift F9, sorry for me, you will see we have the Reshade preset working now. And this is how it looks with my Reshade preset. Lucas Cavatone presets looks a bit different. It has uh, some more ambient light in it and um, yeah, it, it looks very different. So you can uh, choose uh, if you'd like mine or Lucas Cavatonis or any other preset, uh, which is your favorite and um, use it. And uh, this is basically how uh, my sim looks at the moment and uh, yours hopefully as well. I hope you like this outcome. In my opinion, it looks so sick. I can't get enough of the colors and uh, yeah, I'm just so happy about the result. And the third part of this video is about settings. You can copy my settings, but also uh, mind your uh, system specifications. You can find mine in the description down below. Uh, P3D can eat a lot of FPS, it can be unflyable almost if you set it up incorrectly. So please mind your system and uh, if you have a similar system then go with my settings. If you have maybe a bit uh, better system than me, go with uh, Chewy settings I mentioned earlier. Or if you have a slower or older uh, PC then uh, lower your settings a bit. 
but uh, this is what I'm using uh, right now. I have a 1440p monitor as well, so keep that in mind. I'm using higher resolution. Probably on full HD you can go away with the medium resolution, but I wouldn't really recommend going lower than it looks kind of blurry. If you, uh, if we move uh, over to world, this is how I have it uh, set up here. Uh, I have the enhanced atmospherics on and set it to medium. You can probably set it to low if you uh, experience some FPS drops. But um, I have it on medium. I like the clouds, how they look on these settings and it doesn't eat much of my performance. So I'm happy with this. This is my uh, terrain settings, uh, scenery objects. Um, definitely turn off the dynamic 3D autogen vegetation. That is uh, rubbish. Water detail. Um, in my previous video, I um, think I had everything turned on and also the water detail on Ultra, but uh, it eats a lot of uh, FPS, so uh, I would recommend but just yeah, staying with the default. I think this is how it's uh, in default, so yeah. Uh, don't really max this out. It will eat a lot of a lot of performance out of your uh, out of your sim. And um, special effects, you can leave this on medium or maybe too high. I think that doesn't really make a, make a difference with FPS. And uh, lighting is very important as well. Uh, definitely turn on dynamic lighting. It will look great in uh, the night time or during night time. Um, I have this everything on one with the HDR fix. Um, it uh, works uh, a charm with these settings, so I would leave this as it is. Uh, and then shadows. This is very important. Shadows eat crazy FPS. Like, if you have everything turned on here, which I almost have, it will destroy your experience. Um, if uh, I fly with uh, AIs, with AI traffic, I turn off the simulation objects cast and receive because um, if you have that turned on basically, every single aircraft or AI aircraft in the sim will cast and receive shadows and that eats the performance like crazy. So mind, mind this uh, shadow type um, and basically the shadow settings because this is where you can mess it up. Uh, that's why I have the shadow quality also set to medium. In my last video, I think I had everything turned uh, on apart from clouds, which was kind of scary with the uh, AI sometime, but uh, you can probably go away with these settings if you're not flying uh, on VATSIM or with uh, AI traffic, but if you do, yeah, consider uh, turning these two off. And that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're satisfied with the outcome. I think the the sim looks great by, by this point. It's almost remarkable what we can do uh, for free to make our sim look that great with uh, the HDR fix and reshade. Um, I think uh, the sim with the HDR fix looks uh, great with my reshade preset or Lucas Cavatone's reshade preset. You can also use whatever uh, reshade preset you find on the internet and find uh, interesting. Just make sure you read the readme files that are usually attached to these presets and um, yeah, so you basically use them correctly. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also leave a comment in the comment section down below and until next time, take care.